Hi, my name is Scott. This is an unusual tool review that we're actually doing. I've been meaning to do this for the last three or four months. We actually got this today. Red copper flip and switch to make uh, different types of sandwiches and whatnots. Um, the peanut bread and some. the recipe says we can do all kinds of neat stuff, so we're going to try some of it out. And this was advertised here recently, and we turned around, and we're going to try this out today. Um, this is a five-minute red copper chef, and we also got a red crop, uh, a copper crisper, both from Walmart, or excuse me, my apologies, this is uh, Target. It looks like this, this is the flipper. It's what we take for camping. Cool, isn't it? And you can use it on the stove. Get your nose out of that pot. And as we turn around and have, um, I do have multiple red copper and copper chefs in the house, and we do enjoy them. And this is what the crisper looks like. And over here, we're going to make corn dogs. Um, by the recipe book, we're going to see how this is. Um, this is one of the recipes inside this 5-Minute Chef. We're actually going to try it out. So... Bear with us and hope you like our video. This is an unusual tool review altogether, but it's a for the cooks. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you much. Stay tuned. Now on this right here, the copper crisper, as you can see on the box, the recipe book is really big and it's got so you can do roasted potatoes on it. So today we're actually trying the tater tots. So that's where we're going to try this on and see how that works. And then on the red copper, the flip, we're actually going to try desserts. And they should, a, uh, you put two pieces of bread, put some fruit filling in it, put it up on the stove and cook it and see how that works. And then we're going to do all that fun stuff. All right. Thank you. Stay tuned. Here's the corn dog. Don't cut it open yet. Oh, come on. Let me cut a piece of piece of it. Okay. Cut into it. Ooh. Crispy. There's corn. And there's the dogs. Apparently it didn't uh it's supposed to be interior. No, you put the dogs in first, then you put the stuff around it. Oh, okay. That's how it is. And this is what <clears throat> doing here. That's what it looks. And this is five minutes for this little thing. Cool, huh? And over here. I'm pulling it out. Do not get your phone up here in the heat. Here's this gadget. And get tell me it. how they taste. Um, they're still crisping up. Oh, they're still crisping. Uh-huh. Not bad, not bad. See, the, you see a little bit of the oil dripping from them on the lower pan. Well, this is a pretty good deal. Uh-huh. A little bit. Awesome. We appreciate it. We decided to do this on a whim today. So, I'm glad you like it. All right, the missus made this for me, and I get to try it out. Let me pull the table up to me. Let me see how well this is. I put a little mustard, a little ketchup. Mm-hmm. Tastes like corn dogs? Uh-huh. Looks like corn dogs taste like corn dogs. Wow, pretty good. Tater pots look crispy for me. Not for her. She likes hers a little bit more browner. Oh, five minutes to make this, to cook it. Probably about eight minutes to, comp comp you know, a total of eight minutes preparing and cooking. Tater tots takes a little longer. Package. By the package. Um... And look how golden brown that is. Mm -hmm. Now we have to, we decide this by the, the recipe book. It says to put the hot dogs in first. So what we're going to do next on this is probably mix them together and see how that works together. So it looks good. And you can make many, many, many items with this. I thank you for watching and wait till we make dessert. We'll show you how that one's done. Thank you. Now we're getting ready to test this. Uh, we're making this. 
okay and basically is make sure it says lightly butter the bread on both sides on the side that you're cooking which is what I did and then it says add one cup of pie fillings so what we're gonna do is probably about this is a mixed berry so give me a second all right now I got the stove going turn it up a little bit more okay so I'm gonna hold my hold this for say hi hi <laughs> all right we're gonna see this uh, now the cool part about oh, this it's gonna be too much I said half a cup so put this on this clamp it down now we don't know how well this is going to work so I've got the heat going on it the same thing we would do on the campfire because we do have the, the toaster over there but this is what this is for here and they have two sides and it does groove it as well let's follow me we're getting ice cream <laughs> Ice cream. I recommend the copper, if you don't believe me. It turned out real well in our house. And uh, I recommend it, I really do. Um, we decided to get rid of the uh, some of the other stuff. Cast iron and copper works wonders. Yeah. Oh, nothing ain't fall out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and I'm going to flip it. It don't say how long to cook it. A little bit longer. I flipped it so it gets all both sides. She got this little blade here that works wonders. Schwann's ice cream scoop. They don't carry them anymore. Yeah. Digs right in. I'm not really worried about the traditional. We got Napolitan. This is this is a uh, different than our normal tool review because it is getting ready for winter time, and uh, most of my projects are either on on halt because financials and everybody knows how that ends up. You only can go as fast as the money makes you make. So I did that. So our bathroom itself, some for the trim work. This is our Gaston. Here's our new addition, like I showed in my other video. It's fluffy. Fluffy. Fluffy? Fluffy! All right, we're gonna take a peek. Nope. Oh, it's gonna turn out wonderful. Now we're gonna about to see how well this cleans up. Um, I did clean up this right here. Um, it looked a lot worse than what it did, uh, the cornmeal and everything. It actually turned out better. Um, it takes a little bit more than just a wipeout. You actually have to do clean it out. Make sure you have the, the thing unplugged. So when you do have it near water, it it does work. So you don't have any issues. Um, sorry, our kitchen is still a mess, but we have a lot of other things going on at the moment. <laughs> yes, it's one of those fun days. Mm -hmm. We thank you for taking the time to watch these videos that we make. Mm -hmm. We actually take you the time to turn around and uh, put up with our antics. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta get something else out. Uh oh. The powdered sugar to go on top oh, of yes. it. Gotta have the powdered sugar on top of this. Yeah, she's holding the ice cream. <laughs> so we're gonna end up split. That's our Bella. Blue's, Blue's going in into the little box. Body. But we do appreciate y'all. And honestly, thank you. Thank you for my tool reviews and the comments that y'all ask. Um, we decided a little different, like I said, multiple times before. We do appreciate you actually showing up. Take the time to actually watch. Um, so far, I saw this on television uh, today. We decided to go out to Target to actually get it. Uh, most of these were bought at Walmart. Um, it does stay a little oil inside of them. We've had them for about two and a half months. I love them. Yeah. Um, I really do. Um, best thing to come out we kept we got rid of the other ones i wish they made saucepans really i do look at that 
going to take a little bit more on the other side. Oh, yeah. And by the way, this is dessert, but you can make grilled cheese in this. You can make um, anything your mind imagines. Let it go like that. Same thing with that little device over here. Um, you can even put uh, steaks in it as well, small ones. And I, don't, I haven't tried it yet, so I can't actually guarantee this is going to be what you want. But what we did find out is I can take any one of my big pans that's up on that wall, stick it in the oven at 350, and it won't melt, won't burn, won't have any problems. But what's really cool about this plate is like each one of these plates, same as on them, it actually, when it heats up, it actually floats it. Makes that induction heat. Actually, is the best thing. I can start something. Flip. I can start something and be done. Oh, oh yeah. Let's get there. I got that other side a little hot. That's all right. That's what ice cream for. So, I mean, these are really good. Both sides, this set, as well as this right here. If you do burn it, it does get a little burn mark because you got food or something on it. Still wool. Do not touch the paint with it, but you can touch the metal with it and it'll be fine. That's the best thing about these. And several of my lids actually fit some of the bigger containers. Flip it and look at the other side. Now the other side's already done. Alright, we're ready to drop this. Alright. Look at that. Now, granted, we actually accidentally burnt it, but still. Bachelor. Comes really off. Look at that. Perfect. Tick. Yes, I have to be careful. I don't want to cut and burn myself. I have a tendency of doing that. This is my kitchen. I still do it. The bread's are actually crisp. Look at that. Happening here. Mm -mm. That is dessert. And the last topping but not least, please don't show our dirty kitchen. Please our oh, dirty no. kitchen. Oh Lord, we have to clean this up. Alright folks. <laughs> Be like the Rice Krispie commercial. Oh yeah, gotta do the Rice Krispies. Fluff a little bit across your face making it look like you uh, labored. Yes. Not going to happen. No. We appreciate the view. Oh, give me a thumbs up if you like. Ooh, that's a little warm. Keep your plastics away from the hot metals. And I have porcelain tops. So this will be, by the way, off the subject, this will be having butcher blocks by the time, sometime next year. We'll All the way down there. because those are going into the laundry closet that we're working on. All right, folks. Thank you again. I appreciate you enjoying it. I'm glad that you're inviting you into our home see what we actually do. I hope you like the tool review. In this case, the cooking review. Thank you. Thumbs up.